Heaney there just uh, copped a heavy knock on the outer side of the ground. And He's having trouble getting up. He has. I think it might have been a head clash. We want to attract earlier, though. We want to get him at 13, 14. And the one thing in, in New South Wales and Queensland... Yeah. Um, as wide as we possibly can from a recruiting perspective. We've got the recruiters behind us here. How often do they check in with you, keep up to date with the academies, who's doing well, and obviously from, uh, I suppose, that draftable age coming through the 16s? Well, they sort of do, but they also, you know, it's, it's coming to the time. Time in the second game, which is uh, Vic Country v WA, and at halftime in this game, Liam will be chatting to uh, Stephen Silvani. Yeah, it should be good to talk. Obviously, they've had all the draft picks, Sos, yep. but I'd like to know about their list build from here and what he's thinking. High ball up from Keys. Chance here for Queensland. Went off the street and didn't know him. <laughs> That's a good mark under some pressure there. Taken by Keys. That's a um, facet of our game to kick the football, obviously, as a, as a set shot and, and run on the run. Some of these guys still need some work on that area. Hard to get free there. Carroll. Again, Keys. Henderson. It's just been in really good nick. They look the uh, the more advanced state. And, uh... Gee, that was well done by Keyes, Mick. He grabs oh, it on the left hand, he kicks a goal. <laughs> well, we needed a bit of personal, individual brilliance, and we got it from Ben Keyes. Outstanding stuff. He's uh, another one of the bottom ages. Ripping form in uh, game one of the championships in Div 2 up at Blacktown against Tassie. He had 29 disposals and kicked four. A couple of check sides on uh, on his preferred left foot, and he he provided his own highlight reel that day. Well, that was just well, impressive, that was wasn't it? Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Want to see the uh, the tools defending and whether they've got the ability to uh, to play one on one footy as well. Another kick forward by Ke well, two blokes sitting on you, and one one's got you around the neck. Probably entitled to think you'd be throwing the ball up then. Leading possession winner now on the ground keys up to 12 possessions, having a real influence in the second quarter. Not his thought about the switch. Closed down pretty well by the Rams. And he's forced to go wide. Keys just chips it over the top. Over there to Watson. Oh, Watson. Really, it's a good kick. Really good play. He found keys. That's excellent play from Queensland. And he doesn't need a rush. He doesn't need a rush. Still plenty of time. Yeah. Well, they'll see the clock the same as we will. It's not it's not a countdown clock, it's a count up clock for them. On the scoreboard, they'll know it's seven minutes to go. So Keyes kicked a beautiful goal at this end oh, in the right. second quarter. There's no problem with that, he's now got two. Very talented young footballer. And it didn't take long to wipe off that goal that New South Wales kicked. It's back to a two goal game. Well, I think he's definitely going to be one to watch uh, yep. for next year, Keyes. So he's a, he's a very nice mover and at a, a 183. 78 kilo can play go through the midfield mick uh, it knows where the scoreboard is so um he's going to be one definitely to watch next season absolutely he's also just shy over 15 in the beep test so he's oh. got a lead endurance um and i've got no doubt that'll only get better the thing that i like about being queensland keys or not a good hand okay well we're up and running here for this final quarter queensland have got to get the first goal we know that keys trying to do something about it a little air Elite, particularly for a player of his size. Keys just measured his pass and did well not to... ...disposals. He kicked four goals. He laid five tackles as well. He had a standout performance. Uh, and this young 17-year-old lefty, as you described, uh, from Morningside, would really have impressed his coach, Adrian Fletcher, with his game. He pushes through the midfield, but when he gets forward, he gets dangerous. And, well, he had two contenders for the goal of the day, or even the goal of the year, with these boomerangs that he kicked on his preferred left side, and through they go. Uh, look, he's got terrific vision and awareness. He brings his teammates into the game with his clean hands, and uh, he's a real durable type. He runs all day, and uh, that's supported by those 29 disposals. So, no doubt, a best-on-the-ground performance.